right, up next we got Tim. You ready? Uh, yeah, one second. Josh said I don't speak for Gogoruko. He wanted that clear. So now I can start my time. Tim doesn't speak for Gogoruko, and go! Um, you're all a bunch of racist, sexist, homophobic bigots. <laughs> um, so am I, and I'm a like, queer, feminist theory spewing sort of person, so I should be past that. It turns out there's a whole bunch of studies involving subsequent response times and other somatic involuntary responses that indicate we have a bunch of biases we don't like to admit. And if you don't, if you're aware, not aware of that, and you argue with people and they try to point this out, you cannot actively counter it. So you need to make steps to actively counter it. You can do like the Sarahs and contribute Railsbridge, which has done huge amounts of getting women more involved with Ruby. Um, Or you could sit there and argue with people about why women aren't applying to your jobs, and it couldn't be anything to do with you. I haven't had that hard of a time hiring women, oddly enough. I don't know why. We're getting our clock cleaned by the enterprise in this field. And when a bunch of suits from IBM are more inclusive than you, you might want to look at com your community and consider something wrong. Um, I hate to break it to you, we're not the picked upon geeks anymore. We're the power elite in a society where we're in the middle of a recession, all of us have too many jobs and money. We're the jocks now picking on kids and wondering why people tell us you should stop picking on them. Sorry, our society is a bunch of 13 year olds running around the locker room, snapping each other in the cock with their towels. And you wonder, women aren't buying these jobs? Why wouldn't they? Jeez. Uh, not every woman should have to hang with the scrubs. Nothing wrong with that, but you shouldn't have to fe you shouldn't have to masculinize every woman for her to get a job in the field. So fuck you if you have a problem with that. Um, you don't get to decide who has a problem with it. Randall Thomas, one of the few other black guys that comes to Rails conferences, he came to my wedding in the middle of Texas from Baldwin to our drive in the middle of the night with his white girlfriend across Texas. He said he didn't like that. I argued with him for a little bit. And then I realized I don't get to say. I've never been black, much less black in the middle of Texas. You white, straight males, and even me, I'm a little queer, but I pass. Um, <laughs> we don't get to decide what makes people uncomfortable. Sorry, that's not how it works. A kid, when I went back to Utah, my brother-in-law told me a kid got jumped coming out of a gay club, put in intensive care, and curved. That's not anything you ever had to worry about. So you don't get to decide where uncomfortable boundary is for people. I personally have never had a problem. I'm a pretty welcoming, inclusive community. But on the other hand, I'm a large male who will feed you your teeth if you give me trouble. So, no one should have to take that line. Take active steps to make your community more inclusive. That means in your job listing, say, women and minorities welcomed, including racial minorities, sexual minorities, the disabled. We're horrible about this sort of thing. I mean, I know you all want to hire women, and you're wondering why they're not applying and saying, oh, why aren't chicks applying to our jobs, man? Sorry, that's why. So, <laughs>